Hello, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Uh, today we have a Sprint Samsung Galaxy uh, S3, and we're going to flash a ROM called Team Sonic Free GS3 version 0.0.1. Uh, release date on this one is uh, 7.3. Uh, this was made by Clark44. Uh, he does offer uh, some thanks to uh, some other people. Uh, Jamie, aka UOY, uh, Red Rum. So basically, we've downloaded this. ROM and we place it on the internal storage of our Galaxy S3. We're going to use some uh, install instructions for the uh, last ROM we installed. We're going to restart the device in recovery. Uh, this is not a stock ROM, uh, so you will have to power down the device. Hold volume up the home and then power at the same time when you boot it up to get into your custom recovery. Of course your phone has to be rooted with a custom recovery uh, installed. I will actually just boot this down in case you are using a stock ROM. I've already transferred it on the device so I can unplug it. I do have an Android backup already of this uh, our stock ROM so I'm not going to make another uh, an Android backup. So volume up home and then power should see the Samsung logo and a little blue text up there in the corner this is clockwork mod recovery you can see you can make the an Android backup by using the volume down and going to backup uh, and restore but we're going to go to wipe data factory reset since this is a different ROM. A lot of the times when you're installing newer versions of the same ROM you can just uh, install them right over. Uh, when you install a different ROM I suggest that you go ahead and wipe data factory reset. We also use Titanium Backup to back up most of our applications and data. So now we're going to go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card. I place it in a folder called Z updates so that the folder is uh, towards the bottom and easy to get to. Free FS3 right there. I'll go ahead and choose install. This ROM is based on Sprint software version uh, Lima 710 uh, Victor Papa Lima Foxtrot 9. Uh, that should be the latest out at the moment. Uh, DXX rooted, zip aligned, insane battery, incredibly smooth, and feature uh, rich are all for your beautiful Samsung Galaxy S3. Kernel tweaks added insecure boot.img and kernel for support of ADB remount. Remove fading ringtone when receiving call. Implemented home button lag hack. Uh, double click home button will not start S voice due to this tweak, even with the option turned on. Uh, Jelly bean animations. Eugene battery tweak, insane audio hack, headphones and speakerphone uh, should be at least 40% louder, removed SMS logos from call log, enabled call recording, saved to SD card phone sounds, 4-in-1 reboot mod, blocked all ads, added YouTube with download button. To restore original, there's a downloadable flashable uh, zip that he's made available. Build prop tweaks made USB debug debugging on by default. So we are going to fast forward through uh, this portion uh, just because it's going to take a while. And we'll also fast forward through the boot process which will take a longer amount of time just because it's the first boot. So once this is done, go back and then reboot system now. You can see we're on the stock Sprint boot logo. This device is flashed to Cricut Wireless. It already appears that we're getting uh, 3G data, so it doesn't mess up any of that.
You can see when you hit restart, you do have that expanded uh, restart uh, menu that lets you go in to pretty much any mode you want. My phone is downloading pretty much every app that I had because my phone is backed up through Google. Let's try to start screencasts and see if we have root access. And it looks like we do. So root access straight out of the box, no flashing any additional zip file. You can see there are a lot of processes uh, in the background, but the phone is still working pretty fast. You see here, when you go into YouTube, you can click more and then download, and you will begin downloading the video. So we've updated Google Wallet, and it looks like we have no problem launching it. So it says recording saved. If you go into your internal SD card and then under sounds you can find the call recording. Go back to YouTube and re-download a video. I believe the other one stopped because we switched from 3G to Wi-Fi. If you go into your uh, internal SD card here and then download, uh, you'll find your YouTube videos. Hello, this is Chris with MikeRigatForum.com. Originally, this so that was the free GS3 ROM by Clark44. So, for more information about the U.S. versions of the Galaxy S3, this happened to be a Sprint version, uh, please visit our site at usgalaxyS3.com. Uh, like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.